make sure they're really good, folks. The 64 of them, Victor Vargas. And they get together down in the turn one and two. Vargas taking the lead in that 24 hot rod. The red rocket. He calls it Smoky. 20. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sargis in the pass for a second. The 34 is in second now as they're coming around. The 64 trying to keep his second spot. Lap right traffic there. Oh, they almost get together. Sargis in that 34. Second, right flag, one lap to go. Winner out of Bay City, Texas in the 24. Victor Vargas. Casey Smith and Dustin Wood, man, they are fast. Always bad fast, those two right there. Here comes Casey Smith to challenge for the lead down the back shoulder. Wood right there in third, the 03. Drew Stark right between them. Oh, Stark goes way high, has a problem out of four. Here comes Wood. Cotton Bowl, I called a few weeks back. The 3T and the 41T had a great, great race. So, uh, Casey Smith out front, Dustin Wood in second. him into the pits. So it's Marcus Maklicek on the outside for a row. Here we go.
Jordan Joe Schmidt car times. So for him to be pulling out that good speed is pretty awesome. About two four seconds faster than a mod or a limited mod. We're going this time by. We got 33 factory stocks to get in. We need to get this rolling. Here we go. Again, 
Let's, let's get some laps here, guys. Let's go. Cord Beard, Matthew Dotson, Jamie Deer. One more time. Sorry if things get a little wild up here. Gordon, your leader. Here we go. Matthew Johnson, Jamie Deere, your top three. Gets up to second, then the 26, turns the 32 around. In second, but he won't list it on the race receiver, so he's going to end up in third. The 15B now is in second. Jamie Deere, here we go. Rollins and Matthew Dotson as he pushes up the track. Cole Beard uh, got this one under control. Cole Beard had a bad accident at I-37 last week. Car was just destroyed. Man, they thrashed it out. Look at Larry brand new this week. Uh, sent it off to Lafayette, Louisiana, the Express Race Cars to get it taken care of. Got the frame all fixed over there and uh, brought it back. And him and the crew busted it out. Great job by that 44 team getting Cord Bull back out front. White flag one, white flag one lap left for Cord Bull. Jamie Gill right there. He's in the hunt. He's on Cord Bull's rear. Remember, top four are going to go straight to the main. Everybody else going to find the B main. Bruce Carden having some problems at 8C, smoking bad. The winner, Cord Beard, in the 44C. Starry bringing up the rear out of Corpus. Cameron Starry, super fast last race out, hit a tire, broke a front spindle. Let's see what he's got tonight. Westfall on the pole, he's going to be tough to beat. Johnny Westfall, you know, the way around this racetrack as good or better than anybody out there, so keep an eye on that nine car out front. Triton Temple rolling here. I know Temple, they're getting ready to go up to uh, that 15,000 to win next weekend. Ready to come get a little work in on the car before they have to haul all the way to Louisiana. Up to Chatham to race for 15,000 to win next week. Chuck Perry in the 8. He's in the infield. Here comes the 79. Here comes the 1. Digging 3 wide out of turn number 4. The 79 ain't no slouch here. He's hanging in with him. That's Michael Burreal. All the Burreals are fast. They've got it figured out. All that might be good all the time. All right. Michael Burreal, you're leading the 79. Johnny Westall going, hey, what the heck? 
Then Maklicek working his way up, trying to get out of that, being to a transfer side by side with this Lynn Fox in the 17E. Here comes Maklicek digging on the bottom under Triton Temple. Triton Temple's going to say, no, sir. Oh, three wide from the middle down. <laughs> no using a whole lot of racetrack at this point. Here we go next time by Here we are, still on front. Westfall, Temple, Macro, check your top four. Oh, Westfall with a big move on the inside. Not going to happen this time. Here comes Temple with a big move on the outside. Wide, coming out of turn number two down the back straight away. Temple on the outside. Ben Maklicek, here he comes. We got a heck of a race right here, folks. Temple on the outside trying to hold this deal. Memphis Villarreal. Trading Temple, your leader. One to go. What a race. Villarreal dropped from first to fourth in one lap. Still struggling. Not sure he might have a flat tire or something. Trading Temple in the one out front. Ben Maklicek up to second. Johnny Westfall right there in third. Triton Temple finding the outside moisture. That's what he needed to do. You got to get up and get on it. What a race. That's what we came here for, folks. Triton Temple getting it done. Quickly out front. Cody Tesh second. The 204 is Jacob Burnett third. Oh, he got all watered up there. Jacob Burnett had some problems. Didn't turn. Everybody jammed into him. Here comes the 24. John Layton, the 94 of Alan Torres. Torres driving a, a brand new car. I, I say brand new. He's got a couple of races. Getting that thing dialed in, that 94, Alan Torres, always tough out of San Antonio. They're battling for the transfer right now, it's the 9 and the 94. Battling for fourth, fourth will make the transfer into the A main. Slam the door, run her down to the grass. Meanwhile, out front, GW Hassan, your winner leader. Cody Tess trying to hang with him there in the old court board, season 344. The battle's for fourth, though, folks, right here. Actually, third, Caitlin Leonard trying to drive around. John Lady down the back straightaway. One lady in the nine. Not that time. She gets a good run, and he kind of squeezes her into that infield, and she can't go nowhere. He's working. He's, he's a catfish farmer working that catfish bottom. He's digging, digging, digging. Here comes Alec Torres saying, hey, go, let's go. Torres going to try to drive around the outside here. Coming to get the white flag. That is a transfer spot between Torres and Leonard. Torres would have had it there. Alec Torres. Oh, Reyna pushes up. Torres is there. The nine gets the spot up to third. Here comes Torres. The nine's going to take the spot for third. Who's going to get fourth? Alan Torres in fourth. What a move last lap. Bad luck for the catfish man, John Reyna. to go. Two are good. 
Hodges was the last race winner out here. Dalton Faulkner was here. All the good guns, the big guns were here. We had 56 of them, and Hodges came out on top. We put Hodges on the top, Will Carter on the bottom. Here comes Sue on the very bottom. He's going to pass for a second, maybe even lead the race. Not quite. Colin Hodges, you leader. Josh Lou Curry, I think, points leader at South Texas Speedway and I-37 Speedway. That 38 is no slouch. Here he comes out of back straight away to take the lead. And here comes Memphis Villarreal now digging on the bottom, that 30. Just said, uh, no, here I go, let's go. Coming up on halfway next time by Josh Sewell, you're leader in the 38. Keep an eye on Hodges, he's, uh, he's stalking him right now. Still off front, Hodges still stalking him right there in second. White flag, one lap left in the 38 out of Kingsville, Texas, Joshua Sewell. Oh, he gets a little loose, Hodges trying to drive it in there, not going to happen. He might have got a little bumper to bumper there. Well, hey, I'm right here. The 38 of Josh Lowe out of Kingsville, Texas. Colin Hodges coming on second. Memphis Villarreal and Will Carter making their transfers into the A main. <laughs> he had to get one with these guys? Holy cow. This is a tough group, folks. Here we go. Here. Oaks way up on. This is on Oaks kind of track, folks. All out, fast as you can go, hammer down. That's what he likes. He likes to run the top. He don't like them slow, dry tracks. Here comes Whitaker on the bottom. Left front being carried by Oaks in the 99. Oaks is going to hang on to your lead. Virginia in the 89C just rolling the bottom real nice as the 99's got to be hard on the gas around the outside here. Great race for first. Marcus Maklicek up to third. Brian Rye, your second in points, up to fourth here. Oh, a little bottle there, a little bottle by the 99. Rollins with the AL87 and the 184. Knocked 
his tail out or something because he's uh, not rolling really like he was. Old South Road, Marcus Macko checks second. Here comes Johnny Torres digging on Cena Whitaker Jr. Whitaker Jr. going to hold on to third. Tough competitor got four dollars well. Trip B do the same. Caitlin Leonard do the same. Here we go. Look out, here goes the around. Everybody miss, everybody miss, and they're running. Quickly out front, that 3G. Oh, here comes the 87 on the outside. Sparks way high in that 3G. Here comes Chris Ryan in the lead. The $4. What did I tell you? I'll keep an eye on that $4. The 14 and the 87. We knew it would be tough. The 3G going to go around. Look out. He's still rolling. Remember, folks, one solo, you're off the tracks. So you ought to stop. You split out by yourself. You want to keep rolling. Or else you're headed to the pits. Not sure what happened to the 12. Kevin Leonard, she's in the infield. Chris Rye digging at the halfway point. Next time by the $4 Chris Rye. Followed by Jared Moppin in the 87. And the 14 of Trent Beaver. Mason Casaneda now makes his way up to the fourth. Mason had a great race last time out here. Finished fourth, drove the top the whole time. Really good stuff. Chris Rye here comes. Here comes to get the halfway point. Here comes the 14 of Trent Beaver. Here comes the 14 of Trent Beaver. Side. He hasn't even tried the bottom yet. He's just rolling the high side right now. Here he comes to the bottom. He said, well, that's enough of that. Let's see what he do. Two to go. Two to go next time. Bye.
Big move by Ryan Lewis out of Ganeo. Check him out. New rim ride that deal. Hang on. Here comes the 19 J. Little Genie Barber. Up to third. Here comes Bart Wilcox on the bottom underneath her. Going to take over third. Tried to anyway. But, oh, Ryan Lewis hauling up into the wall. Down the back straightaway. Wilcox up to third. J. Barber driving away from him in the 19 out front. Stand by, here we go. Pesic for second here. Woo, what a race there. Look like Pesic in the 22P hanging on to second.
Archie in the 59, B in the 6 is Daniel Preston. Here we go. And started dead last. Here he comes. The pass for the lead. New leader to six. Daniel Preston.
going to add on a modified view, folks. Sorry. Trying to run away with it, Cameron Starry, Kurt Bieber, John Lady, your top four, Jacob Burnett right there in fifth. Oh no, throws for Lynn Fox. 17E pulls up lane down the back straightaway. New leader, Cameron Starry in the 741. Six goes around and turn number two. He's still rolling though. isn't working. That's why he's not showing up on the board. It shows up as Colt Beaver is a 20. The 741 is actually the leader, leader, not the 20. The winner of the 741 is Cameron Starry. Second, Colt Beaver. John Lay, third. Jacob Burnett, fourth. Travis Slavic. Scott Jerkins, fifth and sixth, seventh with Earl Cinnabarby, and Ryan Slot, Jared Moppin, Chris Gallion. Here we go. Jeremy Davenport, Chandler Fox, Adam James, Ryan Matchesig, Jeremy Teddy, here you go. What in the world happened there? Trying to hang on around the outside here. We got a great race. 
Wood top six, John Winnington moving up into sixth here. Cody Leonard going to skate high right in front of Sawyer. Oh, they're going to jam up. Here comes Cody Sawyer, second. Oh, look out there. Higgins, your points leader in fourth. Winnington in that 5W, John O trying to dig on the bottom and get around Jared Maupin in that 86. Right now the line's around the top. Winnington trying to run through the middle here, see if that's going to work for him, not this time. Higgins going to try the bottom, oh no, look at it, it almost spins out. He's going to keep it rolling. Round out your top nine. Here we go. Get jammed up there, not good for your points leader to 37H. Garrett Higgins dropping back a couple spots. Sailor also falling way back, losing four spots here. How about John O. Whittington on the move on the bottom in the 5W? Oh no, the 86 almost goes around. Here comes John O. Whittington to second in the 5W. Cody Miller, John O. Whittington, your top two.
Jared Moppin. Your top five. Here we go. Two to go this time by. for John O. Whittington, it appears, as he slowed down the front straightaway, taking it to the infield, a second place car, taking it to the infield, tough break for John O. Job by Cody Leonard. Cody ain't got much time. Give me, uh, tell me what you think about track. Tell me uh, who you want to thank tonight. Uh, we got a lot of people to thank. Uh, Mom, Dad, Dad especially. You know, we tore the car up last week in RPM in Kimmadale, and he worked his butt off on both mine and my sister's. Uh, she tore her factory stock up, so can't thank him enough. He helped me out. Uh, I mean, we got all kinds of sponsors. Right, Renault Law Firm, uh, Renault Farms, Flanagan's Muffler Shop, Coastal Diesel, City Electric, um, H Transmissions. No release, uh, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some. We have a lot of people in the pits that help out as well. I can't thank them enough. Uh, great track, you know, it was very racy. I was able to roll the bottom on the start, and I figured the moisture was up top, so I'd roll the top, and I mean, it worked out well. It feels pretty racy. All right, do you want anything for the late model a little bit? I think so. I guess we'll find out here shortly. <laughs> 10 4, good job, Cody Leonard. Real quick, I have somebody else on the front straightaway here, uh, the 37H, Gary Higgins. Uh, Y'all give him a round of applause. He's your track champion for 2020. Y'all get in front of the car. Big group, she had to step back. Gary, give me a couple of words real quick before we got to go. It's, uh, you know how we are around here. We like to move, 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 stick and move, go, go, go. Gary Higgins, track champion. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how was your season? You got anybody you want to thank? Tell us about it. Yeah, it was, um, we had a good time this year. The great facility here and a great group of fans. Um, we set out to, to win the track championship here, and we did it. We had a lot of help with the... Uh, Scooter Manchester and, and uh, Performance Race Engineering and Swenson Shocks, um, you know, with Supreme Vinyl Works and uh, Southern Transport and um, Stacy uh, Racing Engines, the AARE Racing Engines. Tonight we just, uh, man, it was our race to win and I made a bad mistake on that second restart and it just cost me and I couldn't make up any ground, but track was awesome. So I appreciate you all for coming out and Hopefully we put on some decent shows for you this year in the Modifieds. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Garrett. You always put on a great show around the top of this thing. I tell you what, we appreciate you both very much. Thanks, Marcus. Appreciate all y'all's help. All right, here we go. Sergeant on the pole. Casey Smith, I told you I watched that three. 
He's bad fast. Dustin Reed, the 41T also. Sargison goes around, keeps it rolling. On them outside too.
Three games. Three games. Yes, yes. Hold that for me. Wait, don't block the number. Casey Smith, man, I caught him in Cotton Bowl and uh, announced the other day over there, and uh, he did an awesome job there, too. And then uh, pretty dominant in that 3T, Casey. Uh, how are you getting this done? Well, that's a really good car. I got a thing good, and I want to be careful for giving me this opportunity. And uh, this was one of the most fun tracks I've ever driven on up there. Uh, I was able to ride the high side, and uh, it's kind of the first time. I've only been on a day for like a year and a half, so it's one of the first times that the uh, track's been real dry on the bottom. We could really have a lot of moisture to ride the top. It was a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, I was telling him earlier, you're kind of a late model asphalt guy, won a lot of races, uh, asphalt legend over there. Let me try this dirt stuff out. Uh, how do you like it compared to the asphalt? I love it. It's actually uh, a lot more fun, but, uh, uh, but it's, uh, it's a learning curve for sure. And uh, there's a lot of tough guys out here, and uh, Rude's uh, always fast. So uh, I just, anytime I can race, I enjoy it, but uh, learning this dirt's a whole new game. Amen. Uh, anybody you want to thank? Gary Allen BK for giving us this opportunity to do in our chassis and crutch field engines. Awesome job. Casey Smith, folks. Thanks. 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 Cut out for him, they're going to run down that 89 C tonight.
Vamos a nivel de Maxi. Got to make a big run down the first straightaway. Good cost on the spot.
your track uh, your division series champion. Here he comes the 48, Cody Moon. Let's get a quick picture here. I like it. James. Wesley says, give me the flag. James, you hold the trophy. Hey, somebody hold the check. Hold the check with the other hand. I know you gotta hold that number one up. Not on the back of his head. There you go, just like that. That looks great. Look at us, Wesley. Here we go. Got his two biggest fans down there with him holding stuff, so that's pretty cool. Throw it up there to him. Oh, he ain't up there, never mind. All right, Cody Leonard uh, picking up win uh, number two on the night. Um, man, I was really looking forward to a great race between you and the 89. It started off that way. He had some troubles, uh, wound up headed to the pits, unfortunately. Uh, it was going to be a good race. Uh, what do you think? Oh, uh, it's a, it was a great racetrack, you know. It took me a little while to get by Bo. Once I got by Bo, I chased Stevie down, and I knew it was going to be real, real, real tough to get by him, and he slipped up coming off a of two, and I was able to sneak by him the moisture, and I don't know if he broke or what, but it was going to be a real good race between us two. You know, those crates, they've been hard to beat this whole season, and we've had a rough season. I can't thank Chris, Gary, Tasha, David, you know, the whole Swenson family. They've stuck by me, and, you know, they finally got it done. Anything uh, you learned in that INC modified race helping that? Oh, yeah. I mean, they kind of helped me. You know, the top was going to be a little more favorable. You know, these late metals, a uh, real soft tire, big motor. They really love the moisture compared to the slick, so it really, really kind of helped me on, you know, judge where I had it run. All right, anybody else you want to thank for your call tonight? Uh, whoever helps, I mean, day in and day out, uh, of course. Uh, everyone on the 48 car here, Swenson, you know, they're the main ones. They let me drive their car, and I can't thank them enough for the opportunity. Uh, second consecutive, consecutive championship, so... You know, we've been working hard, and I can't thank them enough. Landrum Springs, I believe, is on there. VP Racing Fuels, uh, All-In Designs, or, you know, anyone that helps out. Awesome. Congratulations. Good run, young man. Let's just give a round to all of our top four sitting out there, and all our STLMS guys. I uh, can't thank them enough for coming. Cody Harge and Randy Yacht, the crew there. Uh, really appreciate you guys bringing these late models out and putting on a great show for us. Temple. Here we go. Temple's got to be licking his chops on that outside. You know that outside is good.
triple second. GW is on third. Ben Michael check forward. Sewell and Cody Tesh. Josh Sewell and Cody Tesh having a heck of a battle back here for fifth.
Makrachek with a left rear flat on that 13 down, trying to nurse this thing home. White flag, one lap to go, tough break, because Colin Hodges is your points leader. Ben Makrachek was only two points behind him or so, and he catches a left rear flat, not good. The winner, Colin Hodges in the 28. Back, activity back there with a 44, a 344, and a couple others. So. All right, last race picked up the points lead column with a win. Now you're, uh, the second place had a flat with a few laps to go for way back, and uh, it's going to give you a little more lead coming into one race left to win a championship here at uh, Texana and uh, picking up two runs in a row. Uh, what do you think tonight? Well, I want to uh, appreciate everybody for coming out, all the track, great work every weekend. Uh, I want to thank the good Lord, uh, Swore Farms, uh, Best Engines, Mike Jones Racing for giving me a great car to drive, uh, Brittany, my fiance, Wyatt, my dad. Just want to appreciate everybody. I, I won't be here the last race. We're going on our honeymoon, so we won't be here. Oh, no, a honeymoon going to cost you a champion? Uh, it's all right. Honey, will be much more fun, I promise. So congratulations on getting married and on another win. Colin Hodges, let's give a round of applause. You going to go pick up 15000 next weekend for the honeymoon? No, uh, i got all my uh, time for work. Is on for the can't take no vacation. Got to go on a honeymoon, so can't go run for fifteen grand next week. Be all right. Okay. Right, so here we go.
Josh Rock skates up. This is what happened last time. He got up and Moppin made the pass. Here comes Moppin. Gonna get wild right down into three and four here. Moppin gonna try to pass slide job into four. The four's gonna cross it back over. The four takes the spot back. Great race right there for second, third, and fourth. Mason Castaneda waiting right there to pounce at the first mistake of those top four. Oaks way out there, but second, third, and fourth having a great race right here. Brian Rod looks like he's broken tie rod. The 184 is left front. It's pointing towards the infield when he's going straight. So 184 obviously having some major issues. Look out, the three goes around. Brian Rod hoping for no cautions. You gotta figure he's trying to nurse this thing home. That left front broke off the way it is. Right for second. Great battle as he's going to drop down and try to slide job again. Here he comes. See if Chris Rod's going to turn it and go under him. Here we go. Here comes the four dollar back to the spot. They're going to switch it up again. Here we go. Great racing right there. The slide job and then a crossover. Slide job and a crossover. They keep going back and forth. Moppin' now to second in the 87. Ryan drops to the bottom, see what he's got down there, doing all he can, trying to keep up with second. Ryan Rod, meanwhile, he's back here in fifth with his hands full with Bryce Reed with a broken car. Chris Rod back to third.
crepe more, baby. I thought, man, that was a crepe more around the top. That was awesome. It's getting it done right there. It sounds like your pickup. Alright, come here, Edward. Man, he had the best of luck here this year. Glad to see you get out here and pick up the win. Uh, we finally got a track that I told him before tonight. This is a four oak track. Around the top, hammer down as hard as we can go at it. And uh, sure enough, it seemed to work out for you tonight. Yeah, I'd like to thank my sponsors and everybody for coming out. I'd like to thank uh, Barry, um, Bo, I couldn't do it without him, Engine Service. McMahon Services, Romsey Performance, Coral Automotive, and um, first night on a crate motor. So that had to be tacked. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. First night, and I give you the track you want anyway. So uh, congratulations, everyone. It's a great race, man. All right, folks. We got street stocks and e mods, and we're gonna we want to ride perks the '87 Roller Danielson, the 14 of Mike Riley, and try to submit in the '74. Here we go. Barber shoots straight to the top. Here we go. See what he's got up top. Jared Barber leads lap number one. Here comes Jeannie Barber in the 19J trying to get around Michael Pesic down the back straight away. She got to make the pass in the 19 J. Jeannie Barber. She might have the fastest car here. She's running it right through the middle, getting it done. Jeannie Barber in that 19 J. Jared Barber and Jeannie Barber, brother and sister, first and second right now. Follows for Michael Pesic as he starts to fall off the pace of 22P. That's your points leader. Falling all the way to dead last here. New leader Jeannie Barber in the 19. The young lady getting it done out there in the 19J. The one of Adam Perks headed to the infield. 22P Michael Pesic.
Barber trying to get a make a pass with the lead there in the 19 J. Jerry Barber said, no man. What was interesting is Jenny Barber only could run right in the middle of the race there for a while ago and she was bad fast. All right, Lewis getting back around Mike Riley, the 26 up to third here. I gotta know, Jarek, he's like, I can't let my sister beat me. His sister right in the bottom here. And you know her dad sitting back going, please don't wreck each other, holy cow. Judy Barber still working out bottom here. She comes down the back straight away. Oh no, she's in the infield, spun around, what happened? Jenny Barber in the infield, not sure what happened to her there. Something broke. Flag Jerry Barber, one lap left here. and Mike Riley having a great race there for second and third. Jay Bowen, the 19 year winner. Got more munchkins down here. I mean, I get to come on the track more than anybody else other than me. Hey, Wesley, did you win tonight? Yes. How'd you do that? Um, my dad made me go faster. And my mom and dad, and thank you for running the track. Thank you, buddy. Uh, is it legal? Yes. <laughs> Good answer. All right, there is Jerry Barber. Give him a round of applause, folks. Great race. Man, uh, you had a brother-sister race that was uh, incredible. Grab the flag. I want to get a picture. Chuck, get in here, too. Uh, let me catch a picture of you guys, and then we'll talk about it, Jerry, just a little bit. Get the whole crew in there. Everybody get up in there. Heck yeah. Hold the trophy. There you go. All right. Jerry Barber, you're winning. Hey, so come here and talk to me. Yeah, I like to get up here close to the wall so that uh, mic works. So what do you think when your sister just drove right by you on the bottom? I was wondering. Um, I, I missed the top a little bit. I jumped the cushion a little bit, and she drove by me. I'm like, oh, man, I got to start hitting my marks here. Yeah, uh... Man, I tell you what, uh, your sister out running you would have uh, been tough, man. I tell you what, uh, you would have lived that down, would you? <laughs> and, uh, she always took me out, too, going on the back straightaway, so. Uh, yeah, I mentioned to the crowd, I said, uh, brother, sister, one, two, would be awesome, and dad's just sitting over there going, please don't wreck each other. <laughs> As you come down the front straight, it got tight more than once. So, uh, you got anybody you want to thank, buddy? Yeah, my dad, uh, Ace Transmission, all in designs, and uh, everyone who helps out. All right, congratulations, good win. Jerry Barber, folks, the 19, taking it home tonight, Street Stocks. Eighty-two, J.D. Leg out front. The six of Daniel Preston, second.
Macy Finch is only like four points behind your leader in the 38 of Cooper Kaliba. So those two racing on the track right now for fourth and fifth. And uh, they're racing in the points battle too. It could get tightened up right here. Back. Sorry, I had to go take care of a few things with the pits, little tech issue. Got a great race going for second here. Chris Dudley and Daniel Puss in the 6 and the 112. J.D. Lay kind of sneaking up the show out front. The second and third doing a great job. J.C. Fish still right there in fourth. He needs a couple cars between him and that 38 to make up some ground and even his points deal out. And the 38 says, no, he don't. I need to be right here.
Chase in the lead here. Adam Perks goes around down in turn four. Hold the flag that's sitting right there, would you? Like six people still here. Sorry, it's a late one for you. Uh, it ain't actually too bad. Well, what time is it? How do we do tonight? We had 147 entries, 11:25. Shoot, we were all right. So, uh, well, what'd you think? Uh, Daniel Preston put a little heat every now and then. Chris Dudley put a little heat every now and then. But it didn't look like anybody really pressured you too bad. Yeah, uh, we've been here quite a bit and we've had some bad luck. So it's uh, it's pretty good to finally get one of these things done and two of them in a row with that. I think it's three, isn't it? Two or three, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't really count. <laughs> don't How do you lose count of the wins? I, I don't get that one. But I'm pretty sure it's three because we uh, disqualified a one and you got to win there and you just outran them the last two weeks. So, you got anybody want to thank somebody that uh, helps you put all this together and get out here every week? Oh, man, there's a lot of people. Uh, I got to start with Jimbo and uh, Eddie. They, they own two very big pieces to the puzzle of this thing. Uh, Ray Smith holds up out a lot. These uh, Mad Motorsports guys, they, they give me a fast car every week. Uh, a lot of those other ridiculous bodies, cotton their batteries, and all uh, you fans for sticking it out. Ah, J. Red, folks, you're winner tonight in the EMA division.